Welcome to the Mystic Access Podcast, where the magic is in learning. Okay, let me get here, get organized. Come on, be good. Okay, we'll give it 10 seconds, please. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Robert Acosta speaking. I'm the chair of Accessible World in Tech Talk. We're here in the Pat Price Tech Talk training room. Uh, the date is Monday, October 26, 2015. Let me remind you before we get into our introduction that next week we start uh, stocking stuffers with vendors that are old friends because they're loyal to us they do a good job I didn't uh, we'll get some newer new uh, new one or two uh, the next part but I looked at the agenda today and I said oh yeah these are all old friends but they're ready to go Tech Talk features Chris Grabowski of Mystic Access the Amazon Echo what it is and how can I use it Chris of Mystic Access has been enjoying utilizing the wide variety of features available with the Amazon Echo. In this presentation, he is excited to introduce you to the power, flexibility, and rich feature set of the Amazon Echo. Topics of discussion will include what is the Amazon Echo and why should you even consider it, the accessibility of setting up and managing an Echo independent of site, Chris will briefly touch on setting up with an iPhone, Android, or online with a web browser. Chris will demonstrate some of the Echo features and talk about why he has uses uh, every day for it. Um, and let me add that Chris is going to talk about such things as a sleep alarm and things that he thought of that he added to it. So there's a couple more things. So please uh, listen. The email, if you want to contact Mystic Access, is info at mystic, M-Y-S-T-I-C, access.com. And with that in mind, I'm going to unlock this and let our engineer, John, play the recording, and then Chris will be around for questions. But I want to say, Chris, welcome to Tech Talk. Hello, everybody. Thank you, Bob, for that introduction. This is Chris Grabowski with Mystic Access. I wanted to talk to you today about the Amazon Echo. Before we get started with the presentation, for those in the audience that have an Amazon Echo, I would suggest reaching up to the top of your Echo and pressing the concave button. This button will turn off the always listening feature of your Echo so that it is not listening to me during the presentation. The best way to describe the Amazon Echo is an internet connected speaker. Because of its internet connectivity you can do lots of things. You can play radio stations, you can read audible audiobooks, you can get news briefs, a bunch of different things. You interact with the Amazon Echo in two ways. The first way and most common way is speech recognition by saying the trigger phrase Alexa or Amazon. By default, it is set to Alexa. The other way that you can interact with the Echo is by using its wireless remote control that costs extra. The Amazon Echo does not run on batteries. It needs to be connected to AC power. I'm going to let the Amazon Echo describe itself to you. Alexa, how tall are you? I'm between 9 and 10 inches tall. Alexa, how much do you weigh? I weigh a little over 2 pounds. Alexa, what do you look like? I'm a black cylinder. So there we go. We have the height, the weight, and what it actually looks like. So the Echo is a round cylinder that it's approximately 9 inches tall. Alexa, what is your radius? 
My radius is 1.6 inches. And that's how round it is, 1.6 inches. Other things that you can do with Alexa, you can ask it the weather. Alexa, what is the weather? In Buffalo, it's 37 degrees with cloudy skies. Today, you can look for rainy weather with a high of 42 and a low of 29. Alexa, what will the weather be on Tuesday? On Tuesday, October 20th, in Buffalo, there will be lots of clouds with a high of 63 and a low of 49. Alexa, what will the weather be in San Jose, California? Right now in San Jose, California, it's 58 degrees with cloudy skies. Today's forecast has intermittent clouds with a high of 71 and a low of 58. Alexa, what will the weather be on Wednesday in London, England? On Wednesday, October 21st, in London, United Kingdom, you'll see clouds and showers and can expect a high of 58 and a low of 51. Alexa, news brief. Here's your flash briefing. In NPR News from TuneIn. From NPR News in Washington, I'm Corva Coleman. Chancellor Angela Merkel says Germany will support speeding up Turkey's bid to join the European Union as Turkey tries to cope with more than 2 million migrants. NPR's Peter Kenyon reports Merkel was in Istanbul Sunday to meet Turkish leaders. With support for her conservative party slipping in Germany, Merkel is eager to see Turkey accept more than $3 billion in EU aid in exchange for stopping Alexa, the mass migration to Europe. Next. In top news, Trnovec, Slovenia, thousands of beleaguered migrants, including many women and children, have spent a night in rain and cold in the Balkans as the countries quarrel over how to handle the large influx of people. Zurich, complaining that he is being dragged through the mud in the FIFA corruption investigation, Michel Platini believes he is bulletproof and has not lost support in his bid to replace Sepp Blatter as the head of world soccer's governing body. Jerusalem, an Eritrean migrant shot by an Israeli security guard and then attacked by bystanders who mistook him for an assailant in a deadly bus station attack has died of his wounds, Israeli hospital officials said Monday. Trnovec, Slovenia, Alexa, the latest stop. news. So as you can see, the echo plays a sound between each little news article, and you can go into the Echo app and set your topics of interest. The next thing I'm going to show you is sleep timers, alarms, and timers. Alexa, play music. Here's a prime station you might like, Taylor Swift. Alexa, set sleep timer for 10 seconds. Okay, I will stop playing in 10 seconds. He said the way my blue eyes shine. And there's your sleep timer. So you can use sleep timers for audiobooks, music, or whatever. Alexa, set an alarm for 10 seconds. 10 seconds, starting now. And as you can hear, the alarm has going off. Alexa, turn off the alarm. And it turned off the alarm. You can also set an alarm up to 24 hours in the future. So say, for example, you wanted to set an alarm for lunch or you wanted to set an alarm to wake you up. You can do that. Alexa, set an alarm for tomorrow morning at 5 a.m. Alarm set for 5 o'clock in the morning. Alexa, cancel the alarm. 5 a.m. alarm canceled. Alexa, set timer for 15 seconds. 15 seconds, starting now. And in a few seconds, the timer should go off. And there it is. 
Alexa, stop. You can also use the Echo as a dictionary or a spell checker. Alexa, define exhaustion. Exhaustion has a few meanings. 1. The act of exhausting something entirely. 2. Extreme fatigue. 3. Serious weakening and loss of energy. Alexa, define help. Help has numerous different meanings. 1. A means of serving. 2. Contribute to the furtherance of. 3. Improve the condition of. 4. Help to some food. Help with food or drink. 5. Take or use. 6. The activity of contributing to the fulfillment of a need or furtherance of an effort or purpose. 7. Improve. Change for the better. 8. A person who contributes to the fulfillment of a need or furtherance of an effort or purpose. 9. A resource. 10. Abstain from doing. Always used with a negative. 11. Be of use. 12. Give help or assistance. Be of service. Alexa, spell transformer. Transformer is spelled T-R-A-N-S-F-O-R-M-E-R. -E Alexa, spell telephone. Telephone is spelled T E L. E P H O N E Alexa, spell accessibility. Accessibility is spelled A C C E S S I B I L I T Y. You can also do things like have it tell you jokes. Alexa, tell me a joke. What do you call a grizzly with no teeth? A gummy bear. Alexa, tell me a joke. What did one hat say to the other? You stay here. I'll go on ahead. Please note, I'm about to use the Echo to make a mock purchase. If you have your Amazon Echo around and it is listening to my voice, you need to press the concave button. This is the button without the dot on it that will turn off the always listening. And you will hear that sound and I'm going to press it again. Mystic Access or Accessible World are not responsible if your Amazon Echo listens to me and accidentally makes a purchase. Because the Amazon Echo is connected to your Amazon account, you can order things in your history. Say you had to buy some toothpaste, you were running out, or shampoo, or something that you had ordered previously, you could say the magic word and then reorder and then whatever you are looking for and it will go ahead and place that order. For example, Alexa, reorder Pert Plus Shampoo. I found several matching items in your order history. The first is PERT plus 2 in 1 shampoo plus conditioner dandruff control 13.5 fluid ounces. The order total is $22.47. Should I order it? No. I also found PERT plus invigorating 2 in 1 shampoo plus conditioner for refreshed hair and scalp, but I can only reorder Prime eligible products. Check your Alexa app for more options. So that gives you an example. I could have said yes. Had I have said yes, it would have ordered that item for me. We can also have the Echo play music. Alexa, play music. Here's a prime station you might like, Lady Antebellum. Alexa. As you can see, over the loudness of that speaker, she was able to understand that I told her to stop. I could go previous, next, and things like that. Please note, I'm about to use the Echo to make a purchase. If you have your Amazon Echo around and it is listening to my voice, you need to press the concave button. This is the button without the dot on it that will turn off the always listening and you will hear that sound and I'm going to press it again. 
Mystic Access or Accessible World are not responsible if your Amazon Echo listens to me and accidentally makes a purchase. I can also purchase albums from Amazon with just my voice. Alexa, play Superman the movie. Playing the samples from Superman the movie, original motion picture score by John Williams. Prologue and main title. Planet Krypton. And as you can see, it's going through the samples of the album, giving me a choice of, you know, letting me know what I want to listen to. Alexa, buy this album. Superman, the movie, original motion picture score by John Williams is $14.49. Should I go ahead with the purchase? Yes. Buying now. And it is purchasing this uh, MP3 album for me. Alexa, play Superman the movie. Songs from Superman the movie. Original motion picture score by John Williams. <laughs> Alexa, stop. So as you can see, it was that fast. I was able to listen to the samples and purchase the album from Amazon and start playing it. You can also listen to podcasts, radio stations, anything from within the TuneIn Radio, Pandora, and iHeartRadio services. So I can say, for example, Alexa, play Mix 96. Mix 96 on TuneIn. Surgery.com and take that first step to doing something for you. X marks the spot in Generation X. Open seven days a week. 7219 Cross County. Alexa, right between stop. Ashley Falsy. Alexa, play WBFO. WBFO from TuneIn. This live stream of WBFO is made possible by our friends at Wester Subaru. The safety and performance of all-wheel drive has made Subaru legendary. Western Subaru is committed to the customer and is located on Southwestern Boulevard in Orchard Park. Alexa, With additional stop. support from You can also play streams, and actually those are streams. There is no FM radio, AM radio chip. It's all done via the internet. So I could say, for example, Alexa, play Twit Live. Twit Live on TuneIn. Look, you don't exist. Nobody can, you know, there's no guarantee somebody can type in your domain name and get to you. However, there are many, many registrars, and they all work exactly the same, and ICAM requires them to have a transfer Alexa, procedure. Alexa, stop. Tip now we can tune into a podcast. Alexa, play the Mystic Access podcast on TuneIn. You'd like to play the program called the Mystic Access, right? Yes. Mystic Access Podcast. Getting the latest episode. Here it is from TuneIn. This podcast episode is brought to you by Audible.com. To receive a free book of your choice, please visit www.audibletrial.com slash Mystic Access. Enjoy. Welcome to the Mystic Access Podcast, where the magic is in learning. Alexa, next. Alexa, next. Welcome to the Mystic Access Podcast, where the magic is in learning. Hello, everyone. 
everybody, and welcome to part two of the Accessible House Cleaning Gadgets podcast. Alexa, stop. We didn't expect. So as you can see, you can go from one episode to another episode, whatever, using nothing but speech recognition. Let's say you have an Audible account from audible.com. You could say, Alexa, read my book. Getting your book from Audible. Resuming Haven Lost. Chapter 11. They stared at one another through the mesh of thorns and the Alexa, electric feeling. Stop. So let's say we didn't want to read that book. What it does is it grabs the last book that you were reading as well as the last position that you were at. So you can continue where you left off. But say I don't want to read that book. Alexa, read Jurassic Park. Getting your book from Audible. Resuming Jurassic Park. Production. The InGen Incident. The late 20th century Alexa, has witnessed stop. a scientific gold rush of astonishing proportions. The Alexa. headlong and furious haste to commercialize genetic engineering. Alexa, this enterprise stop. There we go. Sometimes with it being so loud, and I need it to be so loud to make sure that the microphone is picking up the responses from the echo sometimes it doesn't hear you you can also do some other things such as attach it to your google calendar if you attach it to your google calendar you can ask the echo if you have any appointments for today alexa do i have any appointments today there's nothing scheduled for the rest of the day So in order to actually schedule an appointment, I'm going to use my iPad and schedule an appointment for today. Schedule demo recording for 12 o'clock p.m. today. Okay, I set up your event titled demo recording for today at 12 p.m. Shall I schedule it? Yes. And because I have the Echo linked to my Gmail calendar, I can now say, Alexa, do I have any appointments today? Today there is one event remaining. At 12 p.m. there's demo recording. And there you go. So the first time I didn't have an appointment, and then I used my iPad to add the appointment, and now it is synchronized with Gmail, which is synchronized with the Amazon Echo because it's getting all that information. You can't currently add appointments with the Amazon Echo. I hope that is something that they will work on. You can also use the Amazon Echo to control other electronics such as the Philips Hughes lights or the Nest thermostat which I don't have either either one of those so I'm not able to demonstrate that but um, rest assured that does work. They have some security systems that you are able to check the status of. You can lock or unlock your door locks and things like that with the Echo. So just by using the power of your voice, you can control certain aspects of your household. The Amazon Echo also has something called Skills. These are third-party applications that are installed or activated on your Echo. You go to echo.amazon.com in your web browser, or you can go into the Amazon app for either Android or iOS in order to configure the skills and turn them on. A couple of them that I have are Alexa, open Crystal Ball. Welcome to Crystal Ball. Focus on a yes-no question, and when you're ready for my answer, say ready. Ready. The crystal ball says too soon to tell. And I just made up a question, and it said it was too soon to tell. So it's kind of a fun thing to play with. Alexa, open crystal ball. Welcome to crystal ball. Focus on a yes-no question, and when you're ready for my Are answer, you cool? say ready. Ready. The crystal ball says, I don't think so. So it doesn't think it's cool. 
but that just shows you how fun and random this can actually be. Another skill that I have enabled is one called Trivia Alex. So you have to say the trigger phrase plus open and then the skill that you want to open. So you can say Alexa open Trivia Alex. Welcome to Trivia Alex. Up to four people can play. How many people are playing? One. Say the name of player one. Chris. Ready to begin? Yes. Okay. Chris serving from 1965 to 1969. Hubert Humphrey was vice president to which U.S. president? One. Nixon. Two. Carter. Three. Johnson. Four. Ford. Three. Correct. Your score is one. Which of these is not one of reindeer who pulls Santa's sleigh? One. Vixen. Two. Dancer. Three. Prancer. Four. Lancer. Four. Correct. Your score is two. What kind of animal does Princess Jasmine have for a pet? One. Lemur. Two. Tiger. Three. Parrot. Four. Monkey. No idea, so I'm going to say two. Say the corresponding number to answer. What kind of animal does Princess Jasmine have for a pet? One. Lemur. Two. Tiger. Three. Parrot. Four. Monkey. Two. Correct. Your score is three. How many islands make up the Philippines? One. Seven thousand one hundred seven. Two. 632, 3, 2,389, 4, 5,648. Cancel. Thank you for playing. Say Alexa, open Trivia Alex to continue playing. And I could continue my game at another time if I so choose to. Alexa can also convert units from one to another. For example, Alexa. Sorry. Alexa, con mm. Alexa, convert 110 centimeters to inches. 110 centimeters is 43.31 inches. Alexa, convert 32 degrees Fahrenheit to Celsius. 32 degrees Fahrenheit is 0 degrees Celsius. Alexa, convert 110 pounds to U.S. dollar. 110 pounds is $169.87. I just wanted to quickly go over setting up the Echo when you get it. If you purchase the Echo from your Amazon account, it is automatically linked to your Amazon account. You will then need to configure it to your wireless connection. And to do that, you need to be on a computer that has a wireless connection or you need to be on an iPad or an Android device that has a wireless connection. You can't just do it if your computer is hardwired to your router without a Wi-Fi card within the computer. It makes you connect to the Echo from your list of wireless access points. When you do that, you then give it your SSID name and your password. And in order to do that, you can, again, do it from the computer. You go to echo.amazon.com, set up a new device. You will be prompted to, to configure it to your wireless network. You can also do it in the Amazon Alexa app in your iPad or Android device. Those apps are more accessible than they were in the very beginning. So let's take a really quick look at the Amazon Alexa app. Button. Double tap to start. Open Amazon Alexa. Alexa, cancel. Button. Amazon.com sign in. Heading. Amazon.com logo. Image. Sign in with your Amazon.com account. Email address or mobile number. Text field. Double tap to edit. So I'm going to do that. Pause the recording and be back in a second. 
Sign in button. And I'm going to hit the sign in button. Sign in. Navigation menu, home. Jurassic Park by Michael Crichton. Close new feature alert. Learn more. Per plus shampoo. More. Introducing sports updates. Keep up to date on the scores and schedules of your favorite teams. Go to settings. Greater than sports updates to follow teams. And ask Alexa, what's my sports update? Tip. Continuing game. Trivia Alex. Trivia Alex games can be continued by saying, Alexa, open Trivia Alex. Trivia Alexa. Trivia Alex. How many islands make, how many islands so make up the more button, see, link, region, landmark? It's also telling us the last few things that we had said to the Echo. Navigation menu. Link. Home. Main. Landmark. So I just went to the top of the app and I'm going to press on the navigation menu link. Home. Now playing. To-do list six. Now playing. To-do list six. Shopping list 11 items. Link. So there's your to-do list, your shopping lists. Timers. Link. Timers. Alarms. Link. Alarms. Skills. Link. There are your skills. Your Amazon Music Library. Link. There's your Amazon Music Library. Prime Music. Link. Prime Music if you have the service. Pandora link. Pandora. iHeartRadio link. iHeartRadio. Tune in link. Tune in. Audible link. Audible. Settings link. Settings. Things to try link. And things to try. So let's just, for the sake of doing so, go back up to the skills one and activate that. Audible tune. iHeart Pand Prime. Your am skills alarm skills link. Skill nav navigation menu skill L M N A bar times icon bingo icon. Now we're in the skills, so we can see what they are. Alexa, with the bingo skill, Alexa will call the numbers for you. Each number is repeated and sent to the Alexa app as well. Get a free bingo card at lovemyecho.com. Link, region, landmark. Enable, button, link. I could enable that if I want to, I don't. Bitcoin rate icon, link, image. Bitcoin rate, link, region, landmark. Gobby apps, link, and region. Alexa, open Bitcoin rate, link, region, landmark. Bitcoin rate provides the current value of 1 BTC in your preferred base currency, along with useful Bitcoin market data, link, region, landmark. Enable button. I'm going to go through and see if I can find a skill to quickly enable. Campbell's Kitchen icon, link, image, Campbell's Kitchen, link, region, landmark. Campbell's Kitchen, link, and region. Alexa, ask Campbell's Kitchen what's for dinner, link, region, landmark. Your kitchen just got a whole lot smarter. Make dinner time easy with a daily top five list of triple tested recipes selected for your taste and time preferences. Link, region, landmark. Enable, button, link. Catfax icon, link. Catfax, if you enable, cat, cat, the stig, link, and region. Alexa, tell me a cat fact, link. This, enable, crap, crap, Mike, Alexa, ask craft helper what's the recipe for a saddle, link, region. Mike Solomon, link, and region. Craft helper, link, region, landmark. Mike Solomon, link, and Alexa, ask craft helper what's the recipe for a saddle, link, region, landmark. Can't remember exactly how to craft an enchantment table or a dropper in Minecraft? Craft Helper can give you the recipe fast, and all you need is your voice. Link, region, landmark. Enable, button, link. Crystal ball icon, link, image. Crystal ball, link, region, landmark. Ball. LME skills, link. Alexa, launch crystal ball. Crystal ball is a fortune teller skill. Alexa prompts you to first focus. Disable, button. Edgar Fax icon, link, image. Edgar Fax, link, region. Agent, link, and region. Alexa, tell me an Edgar fact, link, region, land. Edgar facts is for anyone who loves Edgar the dog and can't get enough of that adorable bug. Brighten your day with fun facts about Edgar, link, region, land. Enable, button, event guide icon, link, event guide, link, region. Mark Goodridge, link, and region. Alexa, ask event guide what's going on today in Boston, link, region, landmark. Get event listings from bensontown.com, link, region, landmark. Enable, button, link. Let's enable that one. Angry Bard icon, Bar Times icon, Bingo icon, Bitcoin rate icon, Campbell's Kitchen icon, Catfax icon, Skills, Heading Level 3. And it's enabled. Alexa, ask Event Guide what's going on in Buffalo. I'm sorry, I didn't understand what date you were asking about. Right now I can only check for a specific date. Can you repeat the question? Alexa, ask Event Guide what's going on in Buffalo tomorrow. Events October 26th, 2015 in Buffalo. At 7 p.m., the Struts are performing at Iron Works. I can say those events again, or you can ask about another city or date. Which would you like? Cancel. Goodbye from your event guide. Get event listings from Ben. Disable. Famous quotes. I disable. Button. Link. Famous quotes icon. Link. Famous quotes. Link. Region. Landmark. Mark Goodridge. Link. And Alexa. Ask famous quotes to tell me quote. Link. Region. Landmark. Symbol skill that reads you famous quotes from history and movies. Link. Region. Disable. Button. Link. 
fantasy football icon, link, fantasy, t tech, Alexa, retrieve fantasy football news and enable, focus word, focus word, link, region, LME skills, link, and Alexa, open focus word, link, region, landmark. Focus word provides an inspirational word and statement about the word to serve as a point of focus for meditation or for the day, link, region, landmark. Enable, button, link. Bar time icon, bingo icon, bitcoin rate icon, Campbell's kitchen icon, Cafax icon. Alexa, open focus word. The focus word is judgment. Judging another person defines you, not the other person. Today, focus on your judgment. So I've just enabled two skills and demoed them rather quickly. Let's see if there's anything else of interest. Retrieve fantasy, fo enable, focus, focus, LME, Alexa, disable button, free busy scheduling body icon, link, free busy scheduling body, link, BizLub Incorporated, link, and Alexa, ask free busy to see if Paula has free Tuesday, link, region, landmark. Easiest way to share availability across calendars and coordinate meetings for free. Check when your own contacts are available. Link, region, landmark. Enable, button, link, Bergio icon, link, Bergio, link, of Ace Labs, LLC, Alexa, tell Bergio to close my door, link, region, landmark. Bergio is the simple and secure way to control and monitor your garage door from anywhere in the world, all without needing to replace your existing opener, link, region, landmark. Okay, so as we just learned that you can actually use the Echo to close your garage door if you have this app and this specific hardware installed on your garage door. Enable guest the guest the number link region la Matt Cruz link and Alexa launch guest the number link region land see how many tries it takes you to guess a random number between 1 and 100. Alexa will tell you to guess higher or lower until you get it link region landmark. So as you can see it's pretty easy to see what kind of third party skills you can turn on and off for your Alexa device. Navigation me skill navigation menu link skills main landmark. I went back up to the navigation menu and I'm going to double tap it. Home now playing to do list six items shopping list eleven items timers alarm your prime pen a heart tune audible setting things to try settings link. There is the settings I'm going to double tap that. Na navigation menu settings log out Christopher's office echo online Christopher's bedroom echo online history view requests to Alexa. Alexa Devices, Account, Christopher's Living Room Fire TV, Set Up a New Device, Music and Media, Flash Briefing, Sports Update, Traffic, Calendar, Connected Home, Voice Purchasing, Household Profile, About the Amazon Alexa App. So as you can see, there's a lot of settings. There are the Echoes, there's the Fire TV, which also has the Echo functionality, although the rest of it's not accessible. But uh, if you press and hold the Voice button on the remote of the Fire TV, you can give it echo commands without saying the A word. You can double tap on any one of your echoes or your echo if you have just one. I have two echoes and the Fire TV because I happen to really like what this device can do and I use it constantly. I use it, I would say, probably eight or ten hours a day, daily, just using it to stream radio stations and music and things like that and you also saw where it says set up a new device if you double click that then that is how you would add a new device to your wireless network and again you would be prompted through it is totally accessible in the excitement of showing off all the features and functionalities or a good portion of the features and functionalities of the Amazon Echo I forgot to demonstrate two basic commands that I use every single day. Alexa, what time is it? The time is 3.08. Alexa, what is the date? Today is Sunday, October 25th. So as you can see, it is a basic talking clock and calendar, as well as all of the other features and functionality that I have previously demonstrated. This is about all I have for this demonstration. I am going Screen to dimmed. open it for questions, comments. So the floor is now yours. Chris, thank you so much for an outstanding presentation as usual. We really appreciate this. Again, if you have a microphone, hit F8, write uh, the letter Q, and enter, and you will be recognized. If you don't have a microphone, hit F8, write your question, and enter, please. And with that in mind, let's see if we have a question or two for Chris at this time. Uh, nobody has raised their hand at this moment. 
Well, they're not that smart. Give me some questions, guys. Chris, I want to ask you one. Uh, when I buy something, I have to give a code. Did you just delete that code? Obviously, we don't want to hear your code number. But it, did, is there a way that uh, Alexa can keep a record of your code? That's my question. Um, the answer is, in, under the voice purchasing option within the settings, as you see, we were scrolling through there, you can actually turn that off. And I turned it off because I don't, it doesn't really matter to me about the code or not having a code. That's kind of why I put in the disclaimer, too, about anybody who, um, if they had their Amazon Echo listening, then it, it's possible that it could have purchased something. Um, I also wanted to mention that I've never um, never had a presentation, I never attended a presentation where I was listening to myself present, present. so the past me and the future me or the present me or whatever. Okay, so if I turn that purchase thing off, I don't need a code number, correct? That's what I'm trying to clear right now. Right now I have to give a code number. That is correct, yes. You got it, because I whisper it so my neighbors don't hear it, you know. <laughs> Okay, Ron, do we have any questions at this time? Oh, yes, we now have six, and Lynn is first. Okay, that would be me. Um, <clears throat> do you have to have an iPhone? I do not, uh, at the present anyway, have an iPhone. Howard, do you... is there a monthly charge for this service? Mm. Um, be, that's another good question. Anyway, um, do you need an iPhone app for uh, to, to use it? Uh, at all. No, nope. you can go to uh, echo.amazon.com and Internet Explorer, Firefox, Chrome, what have you, um, and configure and set up the Echo as I was doing with the iPad. It was just easier for me to demonstrate it on the iPad than it would have been to go in through the web browser. It's They're accessible, of course, but again, it was just, I felt it was easier for me to just do it that way. Okay, so you can do it on your computer, yes. Okay, next question, Ron, please. Uh, Johnny Leonard is next. Hi, Chris. Um, just wondering what the cost is for this. The cost of the Amazon Echo is $179, but they do run specials. Um, there was a um, special not too long ago where it was $50 off. When I originally got mine, um, it was under the invite um, process where you basically went and invited got an invitation to buy the product basically a beta tester um, and when I got mine it was 99 bucks so I thought 99 bucks that's a no-brainer um, also while I'm thinking about it one thing I forgot to mention and, and I've never used it but it is a Bluetooth speaker so you can actually pair your your iPhone or your iPad or your computer or whatever to it and listen to your music uh, off of those devices through the speaker and probably the recording did do it justice but it is a loud speaker very loud um, if you have it up all the way you really can't even have a conversation with someone if you're in the same room with them and uh, it is a very outstanding quality um, audio speaker oh wow that's really good Okay, next question, Ron, please. Uh, Larry Lumpkin is next. Hi, Chris. Uh, a very fine demo. I appreciate it. Uh, you didn't mention any, uh, I just want to kind of get a better balanced uh, view of the product. Are there any serious accessibility issues with it? Are there parts of the uh, uh, functionality that, that are, are not accessible? The answer is, from what I have seen, no. Um, I was able to pull it out of the box, configure it, uh, turn on the skills, turn off the skills, um, add my zip code and things like that, all without sighted assistance. Now, having said that, I did mention the Fire TV. That's a horse of a different color. That is not accessible. Um, I did get the Fire TV because of the echo functionality that it does offer but I needed sighted assistance to get that on the Wi-Fi and everything else on the Fire TV is not accessible so the echo is accessible the Fire TV from what I have seen so far and I would love to be proven wrong is not accessible and I will say that I cheat I had a reader and we got Amazon support and they are terrific there is no dumb question believe me they're so gracious and so glad we like Echo, and it's just great. 
Okay, Ron, next question, please. Uh, Adam is next. Hi, good presentation. Is there a cost for the actual service itself, and can you hook this whole system up into your home entertainment system? There is no cost uh, providing if you have Prime. Um, if you have Prime, you have access to the one million songs in your print Amazon Prime, as well as the the free two day shipping and all that stuff. That's not necessary. You don't need that. Um, as far as hooking it up to your home theater system, if you are interested in the functionality of the Echo and you want it to come through your um, home theater system, you would probably use a or get a Fire TV. And uh, again, you could do everything that I demonstrated with the Fire TV. It could be connected to your home theater system, but the rest of the Fire TV is not accessible. Okay, and Adam, you sound great with your new mic. Okay, next question, Ron, please. Uh, Martin Nelson is next. Yes, um, very good presentation. I was wondering exactly how does one purchase it and where do you get instructions as to how to use it? You go to Amazon.com, search for the word Echo uh, or Amazon uh, A word. I'm not about to say it because mine's listening. And um, you can purchase it from Amazon, add it to your cart, and, and it, it'll be on its way. Um, what was the second half of the question? I forgot. Instructions as to how to use it. Of course, yeah. It's, it's all right there online. Um, and um, this... There's also a lot of people out there that have the Echo, and, um, you know, it's, it's, it's really not hard. You just kind of talk to it, and it talks back. If it doesn't understand you, um, it'll either make a noise or tell you it can't understand you. Um, but you can, you can view the documentation online. Okay, next question, Ron, please. Okay, Howard asked if there's a monthly service charge, and I believe you said there wasn't one. Correct, there is not one. Okay, Sherry Wells is next. Hi, um, I was wondering if the Echo would read articles on web pages, like let's say I wanted to read some news articles on Slate.com or something like that. It does not. No, the only the only reading that it does um, that I've found is the news briefs, um, the news brief section where it was reading the news articles in the TTS format. I think you can do Wikipedia, but I'm not 100% sure. You can ask it a lot of the Siri type questions, like how tall is the Eiffel Tower and and how old is so-and-so, or when was so-and-so born, things like that. You can get all that, those kinds of queries as well. Okay, Ron, next question. Okay, John is next. I'm going to sound stupid. I at first thought this was something that you used with a computer, but I'm getting the idea that apparently it's not, and uh, it sounds like it's a self usable thing, but yet you still have to have iPad and whatnot. Can you explain that? Yeah, you need a computer or an iPad. You don't need the iPad. Um, if you don't have an iPad or an Android or whatever, you can just go to echo.amazon.com, sign in with your account, and configure the Echo. That's really the only reason why you would need a computer the rest of it is it's totally self-contained um, you know to interact with it and things that I was doing with it um, I could take it as long as I had connection to my Wi-Fi I could take it out in the garage or whatever and um, you know plug it in because it doesn't run on batteries and um, you know utilize it but to configure it to turn on and off the skills you just go to echo.amazon.com in your web browser and you're good to go okay next question please Ron Okay, that was the end of the list so far. Well, Chris, on behalf of Accessible World and Tech Talk, we thank you so very much for this great presentation. Chris turned his in a couple of times, two or three, because he wanted it right. And Sunday he said, I, I've got one more change, and we bring it on. And uh, we thank John for playing it. And, uh, and you got it all now, it looks like. And we thank you. And I personally love my uh, Echo, Alexa, and all kinds of things. She won't let you flirt with her too much. She'll say, I don't understand, uh, like Siri will, but I tease her. Uh, but she's great. Anyway, Chris, you'll have the last word if you want to give any contact information about uh, Mystic Access or whatever. 
Sure. One more thing that I forgot to mention because I don't use it is the remote. Um, the remote control, when I got my beta version, of course, it came with everything so they wanted to make sure you could use it. But it comes with a little uh, stand that you can uh, tape on to a, a, a desk or a wall or something. And then you can magnetize the remote to the to the little stand so you really can't lose the remote but on the remote there's only uh, one button which is the voice and then there's a circular cursor cross with a button in the middle that's your play stop and then you go on the, to the left of the button is rewind to the right is forward up is volume up and down is volume down and that's basically the remote as far as contact information you can contact me uh, send an email off to info at mysticaccess.com and or visit the website mysticaccess.com and also the sister well, podcast website of mysticaccesspodcast.com. Yeah, original. Very good. And they will, uh, Mystic Access will be in part two, I believe, of Stocking Stuffers. So uh, they really work hard. And I'm telling you, I'll say it over and over, the second generation tutorial that they did, uh, he and Kim, were fantastic, absolutely great. And I still think, oh, I know it all, and then I hit something, I go to the tutorial, and it's demoed and explained very beautifully. Chris, again, thank you so much. Thank you all for coming. Next week, again, Stocking Stuffers Part 1. If you have any questions for C-Crane, send them to me in advance. She wants them in advance so she can research them. I know they might say the same thing about, you know, audio, TV, radio, whatever, but uh, she appreciates the questions. Uh, so, uh, you send it to B.O. Acosta at packbell.net. I'm all over the news wires. So, thanks for coming, guys. You're wonderful. Thank you, Chris. Uh, can Chris give us a phone number, please? 716-543-3323. How much does this cost? $179. Um, uh, Chris, can you, ha can someone else can, can someone else can figure, oh, come on, can someone else can figure your, uh, echo for you from their computer, or do you have to do it from your own computer, um, only? If you trust them with your Amazon, uh, credentials, they can configure it from their computer. No way. I don't trust people. Do you, uh, um, well, I, I would only... Give it, give it to somebody I trust. There are a few people I trust <laughs> with this kind of thing. But um, uh, the other thing, do you have to be a prime customer to buy this and or, and or to use it? Or can you just buy it and use it? Are you missing out? Are you missing things if you're not a prime customer that, that you can do? If you are. The only thing that you're missing out on, which it, it doesn't really even matter, is you have uh, access to the prime music, basically one million tracks of music, and it's just kind of all over the place. But other than that, you don't need it with prime. So. Okay. Now, you don't have to buy the music. It's just if you're prime at prime <clears throat> prime customer, you have access to the prime music. It's not like you have to buy each album or track or whatever. You, you, can, you have a right to all that by virtue of being a Prime customer, I gather. Is that correct? Let me say that I, I got into Prime. It cost $100 or whatever. But then I, I can go in there and they tap that library. And if I hear an album I like, I say buy it, you know, or something. And, other than, and also I wanted songs for swinging lovers, uh, Frank Sinatra. That's 100 years ago. But I love that album. And it searched in Prime and found it, you know, where if you don't have Prime, you know, it'll look in your music library. But the way that I build my music library is going to Prime and getting these old fogey songs. When you buy an album, does it come, do you download it from your computer or do you buy it as a CD or how? Um, it's just there. <laughs> um, you don't download it. You don't have to download it to your computer. It basically streams it. Um, you can, if you want to, download it to your computer, but it's not necessary. Um, it doesn't come as a CD. Um, the, the album that I bought in the demonstration is basically an MP3 
uh, album that I didn't bother downloading because I'm going to use it and listen to it through the Echo, so it's basically streaming it. So any album that you say that you're going to buy or you tell uh, the Echo to buy it, it actually stays in that music library for your keepsake. Correct. Um, now, you, what does, I, I guess I can look this up later if I, what I thought, so Mystic Access doesn't sell this product. You're just demonstrating it because, you know, you're showing it to us, but you, the only place you can actually buy it, I guess, is at Amazon. Um, what does Mystic Access actually do? And like I said, you don't have to say a lot, I can always look it up, but I'm just kind of curious. Uh, Mystic Access actually has the, since you asked, I'm going to plug it. Um, Mystic Access has the new generation Victor Reader Stream audio tutorial. This is the quote flagship product. This is an 8 hour and 15 minute audio tutorial on the second generation Victor Reader Stream. We also do one on one trainings. We also do uh, personalized audio tutorials. Uh, basically audio tutorial specialty I guess if you will. You guys also do like over the phone tech support. If I were to buy an iPhone for example, could you um, over the phone, walk me through at least some of it or all of it or whatever? Yes, that would be training, absolutely. What's the cost for the training? Um, it's all on the site. It really depends on what level of training you want. Okay, I'm out of here. Good questions, though, you guys. They were good. No, thank you very much. It was a very interesting uh, tutorial and uh, report. And Sounds like a very interest, intriguing uh, instrument, for sure. So thank you again, and I'm out of here too, guys. Have a good one. Bob, are you still here? Thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Um, if somebody asked if, I thought somebody said, asked if Bob was here. No, I just left the room. Well, he still shows in here. That's why I asked. I was just going to say that too, Susan. He still shows. But <clears throat> you never know. Bob usually exits room very, very quickly. And um, Nancy, I'm not going to be able to come into the thing on Wednesday night because I have yet another meeting to go to. I can't believe it. Oh, okay. Well, we'll see you next month. I hope I live to see you next month. Oh, my God, I'm coughing so much. Are you sick? <laughs> yeah, I must be. Um, I, I just started this morning, he has left the room. Um, but now <clears throat> it's just a cough, but um, it's, a, it's a serious one, I guess. Um, so, yeah, I guess, I, I guess I'm some kind of sick. I don't know, Nancy. I didn't recognize you at first. You better get it checked out. I hope that didn't go on too long. I hope you get better real, real soon, Nancy. Yeah, me too. It's I, I have cough medicine here. Um, <clears throat> uh, I'm going to, I know Wednesday I'll get some more and get some OJ and some whatever I, other vitamin C type stuff. And yeah, I'll get, I'll get all that stuff on Wednesday, but I do have cough medicine, cough medicine for now. Oh, um, Chris, that was an excellent presentation. And um, I was just wondering about um, Audible dot com using miss you know what her name is um do you have to have an account and also um how do you know what books are on there will will blank blank read the list of books to you actually what it does is you do have to have an account and it will only read books within your library these would be purchased books within your library sorry for the uh westminster chimes me too. Me too. Me five. It's an app on the computer. That's nice. And Susan, when we get together later, I'll have some news for you. Okay. I'll go over. Susan, are you out of all that rain? Yeah. It, it's ended finally yesterday, but we had a bunch. That's what I saw on the news. North Texas had more than we did, though. <clears throat> Excuse my croaky voice. I think it's just allergies. Probably the mole count is up in the bazillions. As long as you guys are okay. That's the main thing. I'll catch you later. Say hi to Larry. I'll do it. Say hi to Tony, too.
Hey, Chris, um, are you online with, you know, do you know Santa Claus and his, his elves? Because that's what I want. I want an echo. Yeah, I don't know about Santa Claus. Someone's going to teach me who he is. I don't remember. It, it really is an amazing device. Um, like I said in the presentation, I use it daily um, for my media con you know, consumption. I listen to, it's really kind of funny because I listen to uh, AM talk radio locally here in Buffalo um, using my Echo, and I don't have to worry about you know, tuning in the AM radio, and it actually sounds so much better. I'm Santa Claus. I got the message. This is Tom. Hey, Santa Claus, I want one of those Echo products for Chris, or that Echo thing. I want that for Christmas, okay? You gonna, you know, drop it by? I don't even have a tree, but I'll tell you where you can, you know, you can put it on top of my treadmill. How's that? Uh, yes, do you know if they're planning to do a lot of future updates? Uh, they update pretty weekly or bi-weekly. Every week or other week I'm getting an email with, ask your blah 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 what you can do, or I mean, it just it's constantly being updated. Do you have to pay for the, um, I forget what you call them, like the skill, added skills? So far, no. No, I saw it when it was on Prime for $99, and, oh, I could kick myself for not getting it then. Hi, can you tell me, can you make original purchases with the Amazon Echo, or is it only repeat orders? Only repeat orders, and it's only Prime eligible orders, so I'm not sure if that will work if you don't have Prime. You know, the speech recognition is so good on this that I see a day and I don't know anything you know inside or outside or anything but I see a day where I don't see why you couldn't just search for products and browse through them with your voice with this thing and, and buy them now that would be cool it would get me into a lot of trouble well, Chris you were talking about something about fire TV and I didn't hear what that is except that it's not accessible is that TV shows that come on um, uh, the thing? Yeah, it's kind of like an Apple TV or a Roco. It's a set-top box that's put out by Amazon, and you can, you know, um, uh, view t Amazon videos and things like the, the TV shows through Amazon and stuff like that. Uh, but again, the reason I bought it was because of the the Echo functionality and being connected to a home theater style uh, system. I guess it wouldn't give you audio description, huh? No, it doesn't give you anything audio except the Echo. Unfortunately, that's one thing I would love to change. Amazon, if you're listening. Um, Chris, I was wondering, uh, I know it's not a GPS, but can it tell you things like, uh, you know, like what if you say, Miss A, um, where is the nearest uh, steakhouse? Can it how do you stuff like that? This question didn't get asked in the demonstration, so I'm going to answer it now. There is a new uh, update to the Echo that just came out a couple of days ago where you can give it your zip code and find out Yelp reviews and things like that. So you technically can say, where's the nearest restaurant and get reviews and things like that. And the Echo will be able to read that to you. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to answer that question in the presentation because somebody's iPad was stuck down and I don't think that they realized it. I also wanted to say that I had a fun time demonstrating the Echo and enjoyed myself in the presentation. Thank you very much. Have a good night. <laughs>
and press 2 to reach our Mystic Access Podcast comment line. Email us at show at mysticaccesspodcast.com and follow us on Twitter at twitter.com slash mysticaccess. Would you like to spread the word about our podcasts? Please tell your friends and colleagues to visit us at www.mysticaccesspodcast.com. If you enjoy what you hear on our podcasts, feel free to leave us an iTunes rating and review. We certainly appreciate those. Also, you may feel free to use our podcasts in your own RSS feed. Just be sure that all of our contact information is left intact. Thanks for spreading the word, and thanks for listening. We hope that you have enjoyed this episode.